welcome back to the channel. Another one in one of my videos where we have a look around at the things I already own. <laughs> I um, have done a few. If you have a look back at the uh, at the list in there, I've done a few mech mods and things like that. And uh, today we're going to have a look at the Noisy Cricket version two. Uh, I've only had it to, I've had it about a month, I think, something like that. I really like it. To be honest, nice and fiery. It's capable of doing um, unregulated series. Unreg uh, unregulated parallel and regulated series for um, for a, a device of its price it's got a lot to offer I bought it for £35 here in the UK they are pretty scarce um, I've been looking uh, to, to, um, to find another one for a friend and they're pretty scarce so um, if you are interested in one Hopefully you'll be able to find one. Anyway, I'll put the camera down so you can have a look and um, see what you think to it. There we go. Let's um, put the camera down there. Put it a bit nearer. Ain't quite a bit lined up. That's better. There we go. There we go. On the top, I've got the uh, original goon, which just happens to. Uh, to fit in there just right. It actually goes and looks like it's been made for it. Really good construction, really uh, it feels robust. It doesn't feel like it's going to break if you drop it. Um, I've got it in um, uh, unregulated parallel at the minute. I'll just take the uh, bottom off and you can have a look. Not the easiest thing in the world. Especially when it was new. So a couple of Samsung 25 hours in there. That's what it says in the uh, literature. There must be uh, 25 capable of 25 amps. There's a look up the bottom of it. Another little feature on there. And so you got like a, a set of extra battery wraps in there. Because obviously it's made of aluminium or but it looks and feels like aluminium. So if you were to put a, a rip battery in there, you've got a chance of getting a short, well, a bit of that extra feature. That lessens that chance. Obviously, though, if you're going to use something like this, you need to uh, check your battery wraps anyway. I've got a point, point 0.1 ohm build in there with it on parallel. So there we go. Here's the little thing at the bottom. Got it there running in parallel, and if you want to run it in the regulated series, all you do is you turn that over and you put you carry on putting your batteries in the same way. So your um, negatives are at the bottom, just the same as what they are in parallel. Uh, obviously, you need a, bit, a bigger build than what I've got in there now. You need to be somewhere up point um, point two five, I think, is, is somewhere where you want to be with that. At the lowest, but you get a pretty spicy hit at that, and um, that will give you regulated series. And then, by a series of fire button presses that you have to do, um, you can actually set it in un unregulated series. Just putting the batteries back in. There we go. Very little thing. In this box here, I've got the Series 1. Now, I bought the Series 1. I'll let you have a look around that while we're here, because I've never used this. When I, when I first um, bought it, I took a bit of advice from, from people that know a lot more than me. Uh, and they <laughs> they suggested that they're uh, not for the faint-hearted and can be, even in the best of hands, can be a little bit on the dangerous side. There is a conversion kit. You can get them from America which will turn it into um, a lot safer. There's, you change the contacts at the bottom and you change the 510 at the top. And that sorts that out for you. Anyway, go. That's, um, that's a look at that. So we'll put the camera up the top and show you how she vapes. There we go, back up the top. 
it's fiery. It's um, it's not as fiery as some of the biggest ones, bigger ones they have. But bearing in mind, it's only 18650 batteries, um, and for its years when it was designed, it's it's a good, it's a really good bait. And so for the price, you could buy quite a few of those for the same price as a purge. So. Anyway, that's my brief look round. I say, if you are lucky enough to be able to, if you did want one and you're lucky enough to be able to find one, I'm not going to show you how to put it into uh, uh, unregulated series, even though I do know, because I've just found out about it. Um, but then you would have to follow the instructions for that with what comes, they come in the box. So it's also got a, a thing on it where if you did try and um, put a building that's too low, it's got protection on that, so uh, it won't fire. So if you, you know, when you put it into, um, if you put it into unregulated series, it's got the adjustment on the side there, so you can turn it down to about two volts uh, by turning it all the way clockwise, and then you turn it back to where it is now, and it will be just over seven, I think. I've just took advice on. So, so nice little thing. I, uh, I really like it. Anyway, thanks for having a look. I've just thought I'd let you have a look around. It's probably one of the last I've got, to be honest, because I've just about uh, gone around anything that's uh, not really mainstream. Um, and everybody else does a lot better job of showing you everything else. So hopefully we'll get something new and uh, we'll be able to show you that. Thanks so much for watching. If you've, if you've enjoyed it, probably give us a thumbs up. And um, let us know what you think in the comments. And if you're interested, we're doing uh, we do a show every Sunday night at 10:30 in the UK time, and you could probably have a watch of that. See if we're going to move you for an hour or so. Thanks so much for watching, and um, hopefully we'll catch you by this way some other time. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.